to another episode of the delicious cooking series. We're still on with our Christmas edition and I've been showing you how to make mouth-watering delicacies that you can use to make this holiday season a memorable one for your family and friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet and sour chicken sauce. Let me introduce you to the ingredients. For this recipe you'd need three chicken fillets, a handful of spring onions, one red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, one large onion bulb, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, five tablespoons of ketchup, four tablespoons of sweet chili sauce, one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two teaspoons of sugar, one thumb-sized ginger, a pinch of salt, and some vegetable oil for frying. So the sweet and sour chicken sauce is a Chinese sauce, and it's one easy sauce to make. Let me walk you through the process. So first of all, I'm going to start by making the sauce. It consists of ketchup and sweet chili sauce. It's a sweet and sour chicken sauce, so you understand why I'm going to be using some ketchup. So all of this ketchup will go into this small pot here. And I've set my pot to low heat, very low heat. So all the ketchup, so, so all the ketchup goes in, not ketchup, Winnie. All the ketchup goes in. And then over here, I have some sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna turn it in as well. This is the sauce for the whole recipe. And here I have some sugar. It's a sweet and sour chicken sauce after all. So I'm going to throw in all the sugar. And then over here I have some lemon and vinegar mixed together. And what this is going to do is balance out all the sweetness. So it's not just so sweet in the mouth. It just has that nice balanced flavor. And that is what the vinegar and lemon is going to do for you. So it goes in and I'm just going to throw in some water. Stir this around to get it going. Okay, so the red color of my sauce reminds me of Christmas. And according to Jay Dotter and Solomon here, they said that um, Christmas colors are red, green, gold, and white. I don't know how true that is. I grew up knowing that Christmas colors are red and green. So since this is a Christmas-inspired dish, I'm using a gold pot <laughs> to make the dish. And then my sauce is red, so. And then I'm gonna use some green bell peppers as well. So I have all the colors of the Christmas in my pot right here. How cool is that? <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just throw in one inch root ginger into this. All I want is just the flavor of the ginger. When it's done simmering, I'm going to take out the ginger and discard it. So it's just the flavor I want. And let me quickly grab the lid of my pot. I'm just going to cover it and allow it to simmer on low heat for about 5 to 10 minutes while I carry on with the rest of the ingredients. So in here I have some cornstarch, I have flour, I have some white pepper and I have some salt and I'm just going to add just a little bit of water into the mixing bowl and just give it a good stir to combine until a semi-liquid consistency is formed. You don't want any lump in this. Now what this is going to do for you is I'm going to transfer my chicken pieces in here in a bit and it's going to give me a really crisp and solid chicken and that's exactly what you're looking for in this recipe. So I'm just, you can see that it's a semi-liquid consistency has been formed, but I, I can still see a little bit of lump in it. So I'll just keep stirring. Okay, I think that's okay for me. And what I'm going to do is just, I have some chicken filet here. This is just chicken breast without the bones. And I'll just use my tongue and drop this in gently. So I'm just going to stir this all around just to ensure that the chicken pieces are thoroughly, thoroughly coated in the flour mixture. Just keep doing that. Okay, so that's done. I'll just set this aside and allow it to rest for about five to seven minutes. Over here, I have some oil that I already started heating up. It's not yet completely hot, so I'm sure by the time the, hot, the oil is hot enough, our chicken will be ready to go. So let's just give it some time. 
what fun can should we have? What kind of fun? We need to have some fun in the kitchen. It's Christmas, guys. It's Christmas. We do it like this in the CZ kitchen. We make some meals like we do it like that. We do it like that. I'm just going to use my cooking tongue and just drop it in to the hot that sizzle <laughs> I'll drop it in bit by bit and I'm not going to overcrowd my pan I'll just put in a, a few at a time just so that the temperature of the oil doesn't drop once it drops it's gonna you're gonna end up with really soggy chicken and that's not what you want for this recipe so you have to do it in bits Okay, so I think this last one is fine. And I'll just allow it to fry up until it's golden brown and crispy. So my chicken is all fried and the sauce is simmered and it's ready. It's time to mix it up all up together. I've started by heating up some oil. Now this is the oil I used to fry the chicken. I just took out some and put it in this pot and it's heated up. I'll just add my onions that I have chopped. So while that is sauteing, I'm just going to grating some garlic cloves as usual. I love to cook with lots of garlic, so I'm just going to use two garlic cloves for this. That's the first one in. The second one is going to go away now. <laughs> the aroma is just so amazing. Okay. So that's the second one in. I'll just give this a stir. Next, I'm going to add my red bell pepper, which I've also chopped, and the green one as well. Stir it all together. Just allow it to stir fry for about one minute. Okay, so next up, I'm going to bring in the sauce that I simmered earlier. Taking out the ginger already, and I'm just going to transfer it all into the pot. And give it a stir. You see, it's coming together perfectly. My kitchen smells like a Chinese restaurant right now, I promise you. <laughs> Then I'm going to transfer all of the chicken pieces. Look at how golden brown they are and really crisp. So I'm just going to transfer everything into the sauce as well. And our sweet and sour sauce is almost ready to go. I'll just give it a stir to thoroughly combine. Just ensure that the chicken pieces are thoroughly coated with the sauce. Okay, so I'll just leave this to simmer for a minute or less than a minute because it's already as good as done. But let me just throw in some of my spring onions that I've chopped already for more Asian flavor. <laughs> and I'll just stir it one final time just to combine. And my sweet and sour sauce is as good as done and ready to be devoured. <laughs> I'll just turn up the heat and I'll leave it open because if you close it the vegetables would discolor and you don't want that so just leave that open for a bit until the steam evaporates into the air and then you can close it if you're not serving it immediately I usually serve mine with some basmati rice or with some pasta but you can serve it with whatever you like it's the holiday season guys and this dish is definitely holiday inspired so go make it for your family and friends and let me know what they think about it okay if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button and join this family so that you can also get instant notification whenever i upload a new video
so I'll see you again next time with another beautiful recipe. Remember, this is still the season of great laughter, good cheer, and lots and lots of food. So laugh a lot and eat a lot, okay? Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>